Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I'm talking about the Doctor Stone, season number one, episode number two, King of the Stone World. And in this episode here, they, they're going to um, awaken another person. And um, Sun Ku decides to get that to get that to get that choice to um, um, Tanju. I think that's Taju. I think that's his name. And he already know who he's going to pick. He's going to pick the woman that he loves, the woman he's been in love with for thousands of years, the woman who he kept in his mind, that kept him sane for thousands of years. And he's finally going to wake her up. That's the plan. Everything's going to be fantastic. Presto Cachango. But then things go sideways because lions show up. They're going to give it, give it, give it, give it. Give it. About to get eaten, and, and and bringing her back would be great, but it won't be the great choice for right now. They need somebody who could be a warrior, somebody who could pretty much protect them from these from, from these lions. And they awaken the strongest high schooler in their school, and then this dude is like Tarzan on steroids, because he first he he's coming out of this um, out of the situation, and all he asks is what what's what's going on. And then once he knows what's, what's happening, he pretty much says okay, bust out of the out of the um. <clears throat> out of the stone like he's Hercules and then he punches the lion dead in the face and not only does he knock the lion out he kills it with one punch what? now I don't know what he was now they, they say he was the strongest high schooler in high school but this is freaky how is he that strong? I mean I thought that Taju was strong but this dude is on a whole nother level. And not only is he strong, but he's also a great hunter as well, too. I mean, he's, he's running down boards barefooted. He he jumped, he, he, he climbing trees and jumping in midair, catching birds out of the sky. Like, what is up with... What? <clears throat> but at the, pro at the process, you have Tanju, who trusts him to see what he does, and say, wow, he's amazing. And then you have Sanku who looks at him and says, I don't know, we could trust this dude. He's way too strong. And he might turn on us. And we, and we don't have no guns in this world, so his might he might try to take over. And you got Tom just saying, no, he won't do that. He won't he won't do that. But then you start to see what what his motivations are and what his plans are, and you, and you, and you start to say, oh my gosh, because he in his because in his mind, and the thing is though, he's not really wrong because in his mind he's thinking, he grown ups messed up the world, grown ups. Fight for money, greed, and stuff like that too. And if we break them up too, they're going—they're going to do the same thing they did before. And they're going to put, they're going to, anything we set up to try to make, even though they were happy that we freed them from this from their prison, they're going to take over and just do whatever they want again. And we can't have that, so they have to go and let the let the young ones take over, and we can rebuild the world into the image we, we wanted to make it. And you got Sanko saying, "That's not what we do, man. We we can't be judge, jury, executioner. Everybody needs to be waking up." It's not our place to judge who needs to wake up, who not to be the person who needs to wake up. Hopefully, they do the right thing next time. But our, 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 we have the ability to save them, it's our job to save them, and that's it. But but you also get some like science in this in this line of science. I, I could like this show because the science in this show is actually real science. They're not making. They're not doing some mess, magical mumbo jumbo or something like that. They're actually, actually taking real science and then using it and applying it, and then showing you what actually you can do with these certain items. And I really like that because it's like you get, like you getting educated at the same while you're being entertained at the same time too. And I, and I really do enjoy that. It's not a lot, of, a lot of action going down, but it was like in this episode here, more like philosophy kind of based. Like this, like should you pick and choose who 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 you should save and let others die. Or should you save everybody? Because the thing is, though, even though I did not uh, agree with his methods away uh, with, with the new guy was doing, um, to Casa, I'm not sure how to say his name, but um, I'm just, just going to call him Super Super Tarzan, and what he was saying. But the thing, at the same time, he wasn't completely wrong too. But at the same time, you also see what um, Sun Ku and what, what he was believing in and what and what he thinks is at the same time too. You actually see his point of view as well. Both sides are actually kind of right. One may be going about it in a, in, a, in a wrong and extreme way to fix the situation, but you can see why he came to that, that conclusion. You get a little bit more about his backstory. And you also see why what Sun Ku's, what, he, what he's trying to do as well, too. This thing has humor to it as well. Um, even though the guy is a little bit off, I do like him as a character, the new guy as a character. The design and look of everybody is just fantastic. I'm, I'm enjoying this horror tower world. I'm not sure how you're going to fix and save everybody so far, but 
so far, I, I'm, I'm, I'm into this show. I, I love last last episode, and this episode right here seems like it's even better. Like, oh my gosh. And it's not, it's not like a lot of action, not a lot of fighting, not a lot of things going down, no magic or something like that, too. Just using, this, this is a smart kid using science to try to save the world. And I'm, and I'm loving it. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Dr. Stone. If you have been watching it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. If I'm watching it too, so give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say. In my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.